all that force comes to a head right at contact and you're like yeah. There's no reason for you to kind of hold on and create this, this tension. This is very illuminating. <laughs> see how there's a lot of effort yeah. to make this happen. And what I want to call your attention to is that the ball's already gone. So anything you've done to the ball, any, uh, the swing path that you've used to create the spin, the power, whatever you've done, it's already, it's already applied to the ball. And after, where we're supposed to be in a, a sense of kind of like relaxation, letting your body uh, decelerate, your, and then you can see it here. Oh. Make this, just watch your, form, your arm. There's a lot of tenseness. Does that make sense? Yeah. In the sense that everything that you're gonna, any ability for you to impart some extra spin, some power on the ball, you've already done it. But then after the swing, when you have no control over the ball, you're now muscling it. So I think a, a lot of times what we perceive is that by doing the after, you're gonna create something before but it's all about what's being done before. So that's uh, our primary focus right now, okay. is to help you develop that much smoother, more relaxed swing, because your ball already has a lot on it. It has a lot of spin, it has a lot of good things going, but there's no reason for you to kind of hold on and create this, this tension. Any, any questions? No, this is, this is very illuminating. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not think this, I, I, I did not have the same impression in my forehand, but this is really good to see. <laughs> momentum and currently you're taking that force and redirecting it somewhere else and so kind of the main thing Kevin's going to guide you towards is allowing it to just dissipate on its own instead of making it go right. in any other particular direction. Does it have an impact on the, on Absolutely. the elbow no. longer time? Absolutely. No. Because yeah. I've been feeling that over the last, as I felt my forehand has improved but I've also felt that Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, I don't know what it is, maybe it's a racket, I don't know it's what a, it is. It's this file for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're creating you're a lot. Up until contact, you're like flowing and like smooth, and then all that force comes to a head right at contact, and you're like, yeah, and you yank it over to the, to the side. That's where the tennis elbow comes from with yeah. a lot of people, is the follow through tension um, okay. on your Letting forehead. the racket come all the way around here. Okay, so go ahead and do that really slow. Good. Again, really slow. Good. Good. Keep that nice flowing sense of uh, fluid swing through the contact. Yes, yes, keep the speed nice and same. Okay, yeah. yeah. There's no tension, there's no... Yeah, yeah. it felt smooth. Even at high speeds, you want to uh, uh, train yourself to maintain that smoothness. Okay. Nice and smooth. Nice, Rob. Good job. How did it feel? Felt relaxed. A couple of shots where Got my timing off and mm -hmm. I was punched up like second or third last shot. But your overall felt much better. Yeah. Now, on the other side of it, we're like, oh, that's a little bit of tension. But compared to what you had before, I mean, you'd, like, if you could look in the future and go, yeah, I'll take that tension any day right. compared to where you are now. So, again, as you continue with the awareness, you'll start to find yourself going, oh, I don't have to be this tense. Right. And you'll continue to relax more as long as you're more aware of how much tension you're bringing to when you're hitting. Good. No, well, good job. Thank you. Really good. Really Thank good you. job. Really good job.